Welcome back everybody. Today we will discuss a mechanics of material problem related to critical axial loads for column. The problem is the ratio of critical axial load in a long column when changing its end supports condition from a fixed fixed to pin pin condition. That is the critical load fixed fixed condition divided by the critical load pin pin condition S. Now, to solve such question, we need to go to the column subsection at Mechanics of Material section, page 137. And this is our formula for our long columns subjected to buckling. Now, for a fixed fixed column, the effective length factor is 0.5. And for a pinned pin condition, the K factor is 1. Now, so P critical for a fixed fixed condition divided by P critical for a pinned pin condition equals 2 pi squared EI divided by K squared for fixed fixed condition multiplied by L squared divided by pi squared EI divided by K pin pin squared multiplied by L squared. Now it's the same column that means EI will cancel each other and the length will cancel each other and pi squared and pi squared they will cancel each other. Okay now if you have two fractions you know you multiply the two near ones and you multiply the two far ones. So you have the K squared for pin pin condition squared divided by the K for the fixed fixed condition which is 1 squared divided by 0 0.5 squared which equals to 4 and our answer is D. Now uh, for the columns that is short most of the time the critical load is basically the yielding load which comes from the yielding stresses which is f of y multiplied by the cross-sectional area so this is most of the time the critical load for our short columns that's why this section is mainly for long columns